Signo is more than just the successor of iClass SE. It will change fundamentally the way we engage with our customers, being both channel as well end user. Signo is one of our brand new readers that we're putting out this year. I, I like to think of it as our last traditional PAX reader. It's an excellent reader that merges a lot of the technologies that we've had in disparate products in the past and brings it under one platform. So in the past, HID Global was, was really a physical access control company. HID Corporation, the global leader in proximity and Wigand cards and readers, is proud to introduce iClass, a new contactless smart card technology optimized for physical access control. I think what has changed is that we're now emerging in to more being able to manage people's identities uh, and imagine that, that, that life cycle of that identity uh, in the physical and logical uh, space in a secure way. Uh, and we're listening to customers. We're actually solving real customer problems. We've maintained all of the great work that we have done up to now, and we've improved and optimized to make things even more secure, more safe, and more convenient. Customers, people expect digital products, expect fast service, expect things to work, expect an experience they would get in any other facet of their life. Customers around the world have given us feedback around the aesthetics of the reader, the way we manage the readers in the field, as well how to simplify our offering. We asked not only to our channel partners, but also we asked to the installers, consultants and end users, especially during the beta test, their view of what it means to have a new reader on the wall. What is it that reader needs to do for them? And we asked for their voice to hear the good, the bad, the ugly. But with this customer feedback, this has really been taken on board and it's been a main focus, amongst other things, during the development of Signal. We simplify our reader portfolio, which leads to less complexity for our customers in the ordering process. And that ultimately leads to a better customer experience. It marks a monumental and groundbreaking leap forward in terms of all the technologies and, and capabilities and functions that we can bring into a single product to our customers. Under the hood in Signo, you've got pretty much all of the hardware you need to do what any of the old traditional readers did do. You have LF, HF, Bluetooth. We have OSDP and also HID H mobile access support for over BLE. All built into, into every one of the readers. Uh, that gives the customer a choice um, to enable or disable these things uh, as, they, as they need them. We also have a number of new features inside of the reader, like our keypad visually impaired mode, uh, which allows users that may be visually impaired to use the reader in a much more elegant and intuitive manner. One really cool thing with the Signal Reader line is that it's going to come completely prepared for use with the Apple Pay functionality. It supports the iBeacon capability out of the box, and that's really the uh, ability for the reader to wake the mobile phone app up before you, you approach the doors. One of the new features that we have is actually uh, built-in ingress protection for harsh environmental conditions like moisture and dust. So the reader no longer requires a gasket to actually install the site, actually saving our customers, our installers money and simplifying that overall installation process. We have put all these technologies into our product, not just for the sake of having those new technologies in our product, but truly to enhance the customer experience. With the introduction of Signal, added with cloud services based on HD Oracle, HD provides simplicity from the start, but with the flexibility to upgrade based on future requirements. The main future benefits that you'll get with Signo when it's connected to the cloud is, is really that you'll be able to do any type of configuration or management or firmware upgrade that you can do today with Reader Manager, but you'll be able to do it through the cloud integration uh, without actually touching the reader. So from a customer install base perspective, it's going to provide amazing opportunities. I mean, you can upgrade all your readers overnight, you can apply a single like, policy uh, across multiple readers simultaneously. So it's going to increase the security levels, it's going to increase the maintenance uh, capabilities and, and how you go about really keeping your install base up to date. We all know that the future is digital and we're trying to make sure that our hardware aligns with that roadmap and meets those customer needs. This is a once in a generation design change that required iterative customer validation in a manner that we've never done before. So we did industrial design first mm -hmm. with an industrial designer at its design firm. Well, design is the first touch point that the user um, and the consumer has with the product. Um, 
and uh, it uh, does make a promise about uh, the quality of the experience. And it's not about beauty contest, it's about actually the experience, the functionality of the product at the end. So after industrial design uh, created models that we thought reflected the HID brand and had merit, we wanted to get feedback from a group of influencers that we don't normally talk to, specifically architecture firms familiar with contemporary building design. The input that comes from the architects as uh, they are very often in the decision-making process uh, for um, bigger projects is very important to us. This is the first time that we've actually had a product manufacturer come in and ask us about uh, our opinion before the product was actually made. We don't think in terms of like design has a scale limitation. Uh, it, it's all, it all matters to us, especially if you're going to interact with it. We went beyond the normal voice of customer, producing an outcome and a design that we have confidence will meet the needs of all of our customers, all of our clients, all of our influencers for years to come. I think Signo is a symbol of the HID of the future, not only from an aesthetic and design perspective, being modern and being future thinking, but also wanting to maintain the highest level of securities and be the technology leader in our industry. Right from the start, Signo's development was set out to be more sustainable and friendlier to the environment, as well as being more power efficient uh, because of the newer technologies and the power supplies we put in there, as well as being more efficient in its manufacturing of plastics. From a manufacturing standpoint, we're actually starting to streamline the process in the end, from how we secure material to how we actually manufacture the product to fulfillment. And, and we're seeing from customers that the expectation is that we're able to reduce our lead times. In order to give us enough test cycles such that we're confident that the product meets the standards that we want it to, we've had to automate tests such that that test can run 24-7 so we get so much more data and can make an informed decision on whether or not the design is adequate or not. You know, a lot of people think HID is just a hardware company, but in rea reality, we're a hardware company and a software company, cloud services company. We're all of those things in one. We are the company where people can come and get end-to-end -end products from one vendor, from one provider. That's what we do at HID. Our responsibility is, as a trusted advisor, as a producer of um, high-quality products, as a part of the solution-enabling ecosystem piece, what we bring still contributes to protecting the most precious to our lives and the lives of the people around us.